as dominant as we have been so far, we are only number four in the nation sitting at the A&O. We are 6-2 going against Minnesota. Now, we already up by two scores, and we got our first sack of the game. Second and three, we get back-to-back -back sack. This dude is disruptive. But third and 12, the third sack is only the first half. We up by 27. We missed the extra point. Our teammates there to get a sack, bro. We are running away with this game, dominant defense. And right, this is like one of the most craziest plays I have ever seen, <laughs> bro. This is one of the craziest plays I have ever seen, bro. Too bad we couldn't scoop that and score, but that's okay. We get the fumble right here. Good throw, good catch, and that is good for 30 on the play. First and 10. You cannot block this kid, <laughs> yo. That's textbook perfect coverage and too bad he could not return this to the crib well in the, the, the offense in those scoring right here and we was ready for that it was either sack or intercession this would be the last play for this for this video i mean for this game i'm my apologies but nine and no we are number three we moved up one spot taking on two and seven Northwestern, bro, and that's something that you rarely see. Very rarely. Second and 10, we in a big hit on the quarterback. Hey, 38. Bro, bro, we was that close for a sack. But our teammate there to clean it up. Bro, he decided to take off running. Y'all see the Jets, bro. Y'all see the Jets. But the quarterback, Sullivan, picked up 24 on the play. We got first sack of this game. Now in this in this video series, bro, as we get it, like he is closing in on Derek Thomas in real life sacks in a season. As we get another big hit on the quarterback, and this dude is steady taking off, and he ended up fumbling the ball. Big dude, big dude, <laughs> he ran out of gas. We up fourteen to nothing, and we get another sack, bro. You would think they would start rotating protection <laughs> and helping that tackle, but right here, bro, that bro, I could have sworn he was past the line of scrimmage, but we can't complain. 40-yard touchdown pass, second and 10. We fighting off blocks, and that is intercepted. Let's go. And this is the final play for this game, man. We, we getting that in that game with a sack, baby. Let's go. Still number three, going against four and six, Iowa. This dude pursuit is just, even though we're getting the tackle, boy, his hustle determination is definitely there. We got our first tackle of the game, and that is ended up as a forced fumble. But we right there. Good open field tackle. Third and four, and we get a big hit. Bro, even though we getting the sack, we are making our presence known. Yeah, we definitely get a big hit on the running back. You definitely seen this kid versatility this season. And we got our first sack of the game, bro. He closing in on a couple records, bro. And another sack. He is inching closer to that single season sack record. <laughs> bro, this is becoming one of his best games of his career. Another sack. Second and 17. Quarterback side to take off. <laughs> he ended up coughing it up. Big dude ended up running it in for a score. Bro, when this defense is playing light side like this, we are tough to beat. Check down to the tight end. We get another big hit. Second and three. And that is it, folks. That is the record. Bro, this is crazy, man. As he can direct his teammates, his height for him. But that is it, folks. Man, stay tuned. Don't exit the video. Having one of his best performances ever as a college player. <sighs> Things went downhill quick. <sighs> Y'all know my backstory. Y'all know where I come from. My grandparents, it's all I got. Fortunately for my grandfather, well, it's no need to say it. For someone who stuck up and raised me to become the man that I am today, 
And to lose that. There's no words that can bring you back, but I know you're in a better place. But this, I'm going to need some time away from football for a while. As y'all know, he ended up missing the game, ended up missing the rest of the season because of the passing of his grandfather. He do still have his grandmother. As you can see, his presence alone, be, not being on the field, Ohio State. They had to do business, and they took care of business. As you can see, the stats on these players, without Malachi on the field, Ohio State just dominated, plain and simple. So that goes to show you that this dude is a once-in-a-generational kind of player. So here are his career stats. You can see the numbers speaks for itself, bro. A total 106 tackles, 61 total TFLs, 57 assisted tackles, 32 and a half sacks, three interceptions, three defensive touchdowns, four players deflections, five forced fumbles, and three fumble recoveries. Now y'all know his backstory. Y'all know where he comes from. Y'all know how much his grandfather meant to him. His grandfather stepped in with his real parents, both his parents chose his street life over their own son so that's why his grandfather stepped up and, and pretty much groomed him into the football player and the man that he is today so to lose something like that he definitely got to step away from football for a while but the team ended up winning against Oklahoma State 24 to 17 and don't ask me how is this even possible because I, I don't know but Penn State ended up beating Ohio State 29 to 10 don't ask me how was that possible <laughs> don't ask me when y'all watch this video I don't know how two big 10 teams in the national championship I don't know it could be possible I don't know but unfortunately bro he gonna he gonna sit out of here and you know and I think he done enough. His resume speaks for itself if he wanted to move to the NFL. But as for now, who knows? But if I had to say, he probably going to move on to the next level. But he's still blue our CR8. And I'm gone. Tree. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty.